Okay, tonight's shares is Le'ilu Nishmas, Zusha ben Chayimea. This is the 10th yard site of Yudi's father. Uh, anyone who was excited to meet him, he was an amazing, amazing man. He was a man, he, I think he was 98 years old. He, uh, he, he was just, just full of life. Most older people, they get very involved in themselves. He was just a very, very fine person. It's a pleasure to be around. Uh, and of course, I would give anything to hear him say, for the, as he used to say, Arafat, that dog. Yiddish father. Yiddish father. He was special. So we're, 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 oh, he was strong. He was strong, right? He, he, he was very, very strong. He was very, very strong. Yeah, he, 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 was, he was very strong. So the little, little Nishmas is his yard site, his 10th yard site. 10th yard site. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's have a rib yesterday's daf. Because tonight's staff is basically a continuation. We, we saw two halachas in the Mishnah, two places where you have a din of prisha, of separating for seven days. One was uh, the Kayin Gadol on Yom Kippur, and one, the Kayin that was Sayyaf the Para. The, we brought a, a source, the Miluim. We brought a, a source, the Miluim. It says by the Miluim, it says that, Al Kasher Asa Siva Hashem La, just like you're doing today, that you separated seven days. Hashem commands you, Lassus, Lachaper, Lassus, we learned was going on on the Parah, and Lachaper was going on Yom Kippur. The Gemara had a, a series of questions. Why don't you say it's going on the Kabbanis? Why don't you say it's going on the Regalim? Why don't you say it's going on the Regal? Why don't you say it's going on Pesach? Why don't you say it's going on Sukkis? And we end up, why doesn't say it's going on Shemini Atzeres? And each one we refuted it a different way. So we're continuing along that line, lines of reasoning. Why are you limiting this to Pesha of seven days to those particular? Uh, I'll show you that we can include it in more. And we're up to Gimel Amit Aleph. <coughs> we're up to Gimel Amit Aleph. We are four lines down. The Ema Atzeres. Let's say, let's say Atzeres. In other words, let's say that seven days before Shavuos, you would have to separate. One of the reasons we didn't buy Sukkis and by Pesach was because we need something that is Choyal seven days before. And Shmini Atzeres didn't work because seven days before was Sukkot, right? So here you have one day, have one day, and you'll have seven days before that one day. No, no kedusha, everything will work out. So says the, says the Gemara. So they Atzeres, the priest Shivas Yot Liyam Echadu. So Amar Baba says Rav Baba Don in Par VeEchad Don in Par Echad VeAyel Echad. It says in Bamidbar. It says in Bamidbar by by the by. The Miluyim, but not by the Miluyim, by uh, by Yom. What am I talking about? By by Yom Kippur, it says a par echad ayel echad mi par echad ayel echad la fukiat seres to shnei elim. In other words, by, side by the Miluyim and side by by Yom Kippur, you bring a par and you bring an ayel. However, by at seres accompanying the, the shnei lechem, you're going to bring what two elim. You're going to bring two elim. So therefore, given our druthers, we'll go ahead and, again, what's more comparable? It's obviously more comparable. The Kabbalists are the same rather than what? When the Kabbalists are not the same. So therefore, I won't go ahead with Shavuos because it has two Elam. It has two, Fuki Atzeres, Shavuos that has two Rams. Why do you going to say, what are you going to say, but the one who says that by Yom Kippur, that there was also two Elam. Okay, so let, let's let's see the psukim that, that's under discussion. Ban midbar chav tes pasuk ches. Okay, chav tes ches. What does it say? If you have you have if you have new gemaras on the side, you're in good shape. You have old gemaras, you use the chumash. There's no psukim. Okay, so complain to art scroll. Okay. Okay, so now, what are we speaking about? On the 10th day of the seventh month, that's the 10th day of Tishrei, which is, of course, Yom Kippur. Okay. So here's the pasuk where it states that you're going to bring a par and an ayel on Yom Kippur, right? That's what it says. Now on the 10th, 10th day of the seventh month, you're going to bring a par of ayel, 
that's in Chavte, that's in Perik Chavtes Pasik Ches. Now, if you look at Vayikra Tezayin He, if you look at Vayikra Tezayin He, Vashtet, Ume Eis Adas Bnei Yisrael, Yikach Shnei Seirim Ize Lechatos, Vayil Echad Loila. You should bring what? Two seirim echad lechatos and one ayel as an oila. Now, that this opinion that this ayel is synonymous with the ayel in Parshas, in Parshas Pinchas that I read. In other words, there it says a par and an ayel. And over here it says take two seirim and an ayel. So one man the Oma holds that what? This ayel is synonymous with that one. So therefore you're only bringing one par and one ayel, right? There's another man, the Yama, says, no, this is an extra aisle. Mm -hmm. So you're bringing, in Pasha's Pinchas on Yom Kippur, what are you bringing? One par, one aisle, and now in Pasha's Achimos, you're bringing an additional aisle. So what do you have? You have two Elam. You have, you have two Elam. Okay, so now, says the Gemara. So your whole basis for comparison, guys, was what? The reason I'm learning out from Miluyim, where it clearly it's a parva ayo, is because Yom Kippur has a parva ayo, Masha Enkin Shfuis, which has two elim. Yom Kippur also has two elim according to this Mandiyama, right? One in Pasha Zacharimos and one in Pasha Spinchas. So also, that Mandiyama has the same two elim as, as, I, as that Ceres, so you can't give this Ceres. Again, we're not talking about, we're just, again, based upon, there much more. More Again, there, there were more, there were seven, again, we're not discussing that. We're just discussing Parva Ayel. Your distinction, your Gemara, you made a distinction. You said the following. Yom Kippur is Parva Ayel, Milum is Parva Ayel, Shavuos is Tupa Elam. One second. I got Yom Kippur also to Elam. Good, that's the Merz Kasha. So let's see it inside. So, what? Yeah, Peshmuta says, right. Uh, I'm sure, again, it's but two Elam, you know, I guess it has, it has a power, but two Elam. I don't, again, I, off the top of my head, I don't know what they have. They probably have a power. Now, and it says the Gemara now. So, it says, um, that only has one isle. Therefore, now you have the same distinction a par of isle by Yom Kippur and a par of isle by, by the by Miluyam. That says that Yom Kippur also has two elim. You have no distinction between it and, and Shruis. They're both the same. Now, where's the Tanya? The Gemara now brings in the Bad. The Machloik is Rebbe Omer. Ayel Echad Hu Omer Kan Hu Omer V'Chumish Vapkudim. Ayel Echad. That one Ayel is the same in Parshas Vat, in Parshas Emor. It is in Parshas Vapkudim. The same one, not Parshas Emor. Parshas Achimos. The one that says in Achimos. The same one that says in Pkudim is 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 uh, is uh, by Midbar. Rebbe Liazer, Rebbe Shimon Omer. Shnei Elim Heim. Two separate ones. Right. Echad Omer Kan VeEchad Omer V'Chumish Vapkudim. One it says over here, and one it says much be couldn't. So you have a kasha. There's no difference between Shuas and and uh, and Yom Kippur. It says Gemara Afilu Tema Rebbe Lezer Shimon. You can even say the nerds, even like Rebbe Lezer Reb Shimon, that they're two Elam by Yom Kippur. Still, it's different than the than than the Shuas. Why? Hasam by Yom Kippur Chad L'Chayves Hayoyin. One is 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 L'Chayves Hayoyin. V'Chad L'Musafim, and one is for a Musaf. In other words, the par and the aisle that are offered on Yom Kippur are the same as the par of the aisle offered on Miluyim. One was for Chiv, and one was a Musaf, a carbon, extra carbon. La Fuki at Seres, the Shavayu Chayves Hayom Ninu, that they're both Chayves Hayom. So, in other words, we're really, we're really splitting hairs over here to find distinctions. So, let's, let's, so let's go through it. Let's go through it. What are we doing? We're saying that Meluyim is a source for Prisha of seven days. Yeah, that's a source. Yom Kippur is learned out from Meluyim. Fred the Gemara, why you, again, based upon the Taisu of Yishan, and why you're limiting it to Yom Kippur, let's be more expansive. And now we, we asked a bunch of cases, and now we say, do it Shruis. We're giving an answer. What's the answer? Shruis is not comparable. Shruis is two, two Elam, two Rams, and Yom Kippur is, and, and, and Meluyim are only one Ram. Fred the Gemara, I have a man the Yom, says that what? That Yom Kippur is also two rams. Says the Gemara, even like that man the Yom, it's two rams, they're two different rams. 
by Yom Kippur, by Miluyim, one is the Chayv, and one of the Kabbalists is the Chayv, and one is a Musaf. By, by the two Elam, by what? By Shvuas, are both Chayv, they're not Musaf. So even though they're the same genre of animal, they're a different what? Type of carbon. And Mimelo what? That's why I don't learn out Shvuas from, from Miluyim. Yeah, but you don't, it's not, you don't have a kasha from the park. You don't have a kasha from the park. The only kasha is in the elam. Only kasha. Again, your distinction is that one, one power went one aisle, and this is two elam. Par, par is not a problem. Yes. Again, again, Yanko, we have a Gemara. <laughs> the Gemara, the Gemara is Manani Mili. I understand, but the lights are on Yom Kippur, right? Oh, you want to say the Kayan Gadol? Okay, well, we'll give that Terrence. Okay, okay, good. Okay, the Gemara is going to give that Terrence. Good. Okay, right. Okay, good. Now, as Yanko saying, it's a big distinction. Okay, good. By Miluyim and by Yom Kippur, they're both Kayan Gadol. That's that's the that's the that's the that's by Miluyim and by Yom Kippur, it's both the Kayan Gadol. That's that's the, the that's the same thing. Okay. So, so far, guys, we're all good? On screen, we're all good. Zoom is we're good? Okay, Zoom, yeah, the Zoom is. The baby Zoom is, you know, like the baby boomers, we got the baby Zoom is. <laughs> that's, that's the Gemara. Okay. We just lost one. You, you don't like the joke. <laughs> I hope I didn't send anybody. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, anyway. Says, says the Gemara, the Eimer Rosh Hashanah, good, going along that line of reasoning, Eimer Rosh Hashanah, the Prishas Shiva Li'ay Me'achad, who? The Rosh Hashanah, guys, is you're separating for seven, seven before one. So why don't you say that, what, you have to separate the Kayin Gadol seven, day, the Kayin seven days before Rosh Hashanah. So I'm Rabbi Vohu, Donin Par Va'ayel Shelo, Mi Par Va'ayel Shelo, Afuke, now we're eating at Saris Rosh Hashanah, did Sibur Ninu, Pirish. By Miluyim, the par and the aisle, the, the par aisle came from his own money. By Yom Kippur, the par of the aisle came from his own money. By at Saris and Rosh Hashanah, the par of the aisle came from the Tzibur. It came from the Tzibur. Again, finding distinctions. It came, came, from, came from the Tzibur. Now, now, now it's going to be a kasha. How do you know it came what? How do you know it came from the from, from you. Okay. It says, Kachlucha, Mishelcha. The Pasik says, by, 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 uh, Aaron. It says, in Vayikra, Tes Beis. Vayikra, Tes Beis. It says the following Pasik. Vayikra, Tes Leviticus, Tes Beis. No, test days. Nine two Leviticus 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 chapter nine verse two. Okay now. Okay okay uh, you might you might know these words. Good now. Hayoyme el Aaron kach lecha egel ben bakar lechatas. Now, if you darshan the following, take from you, that lecha means you're taking from your own funds. So this is the miluyim, and what are you doing? egel ben bakar, you're taking a par, an egel's a par, and the ayel, and you're taking an ayel. And kachlecha, you're taking it from you. So therefore, we've established that what by the miluyim, it was his, right? And so therefore, when it says kachlecha, it means from your own funds. Very good. When it says by the Kesef, to make two trumpets of Kesef, who says that it's from the Tziba, what are you going to say? Now, in other words, that Kachlecha sometimes is the Tziba, the Tanya. It says in Shmois Lamid, Lamid Alad. Shmois Lamid, Lamid Alad. If you have a commotion, it's great. If not, just listen. Shmoy Slamid Lam Medalid, Fush State. Vasisa Isaki Tyrus. By your Masham Mosha, Pasig Lam Medalid, Kachlucha Samim, not of a Shrele Vichelbina. Now, 
over there it says kach lecha. Now, now, there, there, now you say mishalcha. Then it says ba'asei lecha. It says by the chatzay. It says lecha mishalcha. Then it says in shmois chav zayin chav. Shmois chav zayin chav. Right? And they should take for you Shem and Zayezach. That's Mishal Tzibor. Dibur Rabbi Yoshia. So therefore Rabbi Yoshia says, Kach l'chaz Mishalcha, Asei l'chaz Mishalcha, and the Yichu Elecha, they should take for you, is from the Tzibor. However, Rabbi Yoshia, Rabbi the Baplukta, Rabbi Yoshia, Rabbi Yoshia says, Oymer, Bein Kach l'cha, Bein the Kach l'cha, it says, by what? Uh, by, by the Besamim, by the Ktoires, Bein the Yichu l'cha, that it says, by what? By the Shem and Amishcha, Right, but it says Hashem and Mishra, either one, right? What? It's Mishel Tzibor, Umatam el Kach Lecha. So why does it say Kach Lecha? Right? In other words, the Chaz Mashma, you're taking your own funds. Why does it say Kach Lecha? Kaviyachal Mishel Chani writes, Kaviyachal says, Kaddish Baruch Hu, from you, Moshe, I really want it. Yaisi Mishel Ahem, more than them. Okay, you know, you ever heard, you heard the term Kaviyachal very much? Kaviyachal, Kaviyachal. Okay, here's the source. Look at this Rashi, guys. Here's what Kaviyachal finally means. So, you know, it's not a, it's not, I'm still looking for the, for the interpretation of Taka, but the, the, the Taka, I don't know the interpretation, but Kaviyachal, I think, will be able to get an interpretation. <laughs> you missed yesterday's share. The opening of the share, I was just beaming. What does Rashi say? Kaviyachal, guys. Three, three lines down at the end of the line, right? Vani Oimer, second line down. Vani Oimer, if you should double Koshu Oimer, it's hard to say the following that what? Shah Kodesh Bochu cuts be a that a Kodesh Baruch Hu is disgusted by Israel. In other words, I really don't want it from them. You know, I, it's, it's, you know, so, Oymer, Kaviyachal, what does Kaviyachal mean? Kloymar, al karcheinu yoymer kach. I'll be forced to say, ki'ilu, as if, efshel loymer came. In other words, really, I, Kaviyachal, I'd like to say, mamish, you know, but what can I do? V'chein kol Kaviyachal sheb b'shas. Anytime it says is, I'm forced against my will. I'm forced against my will. So the Kodesh Baruch Hu says, what can I do? I got it. I don't want to take it from them, but I'm for, I got to do it. You know, it's not so nice. I really want to take it from you. Back in the Gemara. So, mm-hmm. so I really want the Shem and the from you. I, I, I really want the I guess I, I really want the virus. Anyway, let's it says one pasuk says, "Vasisalachah Make for yourself an aron of eights. The kasevachah aron eights. They made an us from eights. She atzei shitim. Vatsi atzei shitim. One second. One one says it says, "Vasisalachah you should make." And then it says, "Vasu they should make." Okay, it's on. Kam bizman she yisrael oisir ritzayin shal makom. Kam bizman shein ritzayin oisir shal makom. When they don't do the rutsin, it's from you. When they do the rutsin, it's from them. Bottom line is, guys, it's a kasha. Let's get back to the kasha. Your, I, I, you want your distinction you made between Rosh Hashanah and and Miluyim and Yom Kippur is because Miluyim and Yom Kippur they both came what from his own funds. Mashen came by what by by Rosh Hashanah didn't. That's only good according to Rambam. It says Asay Lecha means it goes what it goes according to Rabbi Rishaya. But later Rabbi Yonason that what it means the Tzibur Mayikla Neymar because Pashas that Aaron didn't spend you know the the money came from the Tzibur. So in that the answer is no. Ad kanle pligi ella bekikas the alma vasias the alma. But in other words, whether they argue where it's the lotion of kach or the lotion of asiya in, in, a, in a general sense. For example, kach lechosamim, that's kichas ta'alma. Asiya ta'alma, ase lechoshte chatzaitzvais. Who is he making the, who is he making the, 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 the for, guys? Kaisro, right? So, so it's in a general sense, take for who? Kaisro. Chatzaitzus, who's it for? So, uh, as, so you take it, you make it, but you're making it la alma. You're making it what for the general population. So therefore, we say the lacha is means what general. Oh, aval hanach. But the ones that stead by 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 Yom Kippur, perushi come afarish to who who by miluyim and Yom Kippur, it's ex, 
you look at the context, and you know from context that the lecha means mamish Aaron's own money. How do you see that? Michti ksiv fel bnei Yisrael to dabaleimar. First, you say to bnei Yisrael, you should say this is again vayikrates kuchu si izim echad lechatos. Right? Then it says vayomel Aaron. So you're speaking about in the general Kal Yisrael, and then you switch from Kal Yisrael to to Aaron. In that case, clearly it's Aaron's money. Guys, look at the context. But yeah, I'll, I'll, read, I'll read it to you in, in, in context. So you could test. So, well, Bnei Yisrael to Daba Lamar and then to Bnei Yisrael, Lamar Kachu series and Luchatos. When you go ahead and switch, you say, Aaron, you take this, and to Bnei Yisrael, you should speak saying this. Obviously, why do you have to go ahead and say, speak to Bnei Yisrael? Because the Pasuk before, you weren't speaking to Bnei Yisrael. Who are you speaking to? So, in context, you see clearly what? It's Aaron's money. So, just it's not the lecha. Look at the context. By the chetzayt zrois, right? I say lecha. By the shem and I mishra kach lecha, right? But uh, I mean, I must. Uh, yes. But Masha Enkin over here. Look at the context, right? I, obviously, it's speaking. First, he speaks to Aaron. Aaron, you take this, and then and Bnei Yisrael tell him to take Sirim. So obviously, what it's two distinct things, and that's by the miluyim. What about Yom Kippur, and and by and by Yom Kippur? Okay. What does it say? Shmar minal kafchem mishal chahu. Yom Kippur michtek kesev. This is what Aaron should come in the Kodesh. Okay, by Yikrita Zion. Beginning of Achrei Mos, we go through the Avoida, and it says, Gimel, Bezois Yavo Aaron al Kodesh, Bepar Ben Boko, Lechatas Vaya Loila. And then Pasuk Hei, Umi Esa Das Bisroel, Yikash Shnei Siris in Lechatas. Why are you going saying Me Esa Bnei Yisroel? You know why? Because when you're speaking to Aaron, you're only speaking to Aaron. And then you said, Why? So the contextually, you see clearly that what by the Miluyim and by Achremos, by Yom Kippur, it was both Aaron. Beautiful. Says the Gemara. Inside. And then, And then, that loy means he takes him his own. So the, the teretz guys stands. The teretz stands. So right now, we have we have a great teretz. We, we have a pasuk that says lasis lachater, and it's speaking about the miluyim, and we're learning at only yom kippur. We've rejected every possible yom tif, every possible carbon, every possible anything you could have thought of. We went through the whole gamut, and we said the only one that needs pisha is what is yom kippur. The only one, is, and, and the source is miluyim. Okay, now another distinction. Rav Ashi Yomar, Rav Ashi says, here's why you learn Chathas Miluyim. Don in Par Lechathas Va'ayala We learn what Par Lechathas Va'ayala that it says what? By Yom Kippur, Mi Par Lechathas Va'ayala like it says by Miluyim. La Fluke Rosh Hashanah Vatseres, this would exclude Rosh Hashanah Vatseres and, and Shruis, the Travayu Oilis Nenu. Both the Par and the Ayal are what? They're both Oilis. Mashiach came by the Biluyim and by Yom Kippur, once a par and once a chatas. Once an oil and once a chatas. So, therefore, that's the distinction according to Ravashi. No questions on that. Now, Ravina gives Yankel's Teretz. Now, Yankel's Teretz would have been, you know, like this is the Gemara and Yeshiva guys of you learning, and they give the Teretz, you would have told the Rebbe, so why don't they say this in the first place? That's another word. The Gemara is like, like so long winded. You'd find you'd be lost, and finally they gave a terrace that made so much sense to you. And I, I used to do that all the time. Like I used to look at the riff and I said, Rebbe, why don't we do this? It's much shorter, you know? <laughs> it was like, anyway, so look, Ravina's terrace. Ravina Oma, Donin Avoid the Bikoyen Godel, Avoid the Bikoyen Godel, Lafuke Kula Kishoson, the lot of Avoid the Kain Godel, they knew. All the questions, not a Kain Godel. Guys, who was the Malayim? Only Aaron, right? Who's the only one who could do the Avoid the Yom Kippur? Only Kain Gadol. All the other cases, who brings the Kabbalists? And if the Kain Gadol wants to, he could. He can cut the line. But what? Uh, by and large, anyone, anyone can do it, right? So this, this is the easiest terrors. We could give him. Here could the army. Others say, Om Ravina, Donan avoided tchila, me avoided tchila, lafuki hane delav tchila nimi. 
Guys, when Aaron did the avoid the first time in the Mizbech, was that the first time the Mizbech was used? Mm-hmm. On Yom Kippur, when it comes to Aaron, the Kohen Gadol comes to Yom Kippur, the final thing. Is that the only time it's used? It's the first time, right? But the first time he walked in, he walked in. So let's judge first from things that aren't first. Yom Kippur, and the, the going in Yom Kippur, the final thing is the Chila, is the, is the first. Yeah, Mizbech is the first. Mashain came what? You know, Aaron, the first time he came like, went inside the final thing. Aaron, the first time he used the Mizbech. So therefore, given our brothers, we'll go ahead and compare Miluyim, uh, Yom Kippur to Miluyim, where it's first, rather than all the other cases which were not first. My tchil, what does tchil mean? What does first mean? Ilema tchil the Kohen Gadol, Hainu Kamaisa. What do you mean that the beginning, the first time the Kohen Gadol does the Avoida? So that's Ravina's Teretz, right? That's Ravina's Teretz. So what is, what is uh, that, that's Ravina's Teretz. So what is he telling me? Ella, uh, this is the same with the army. El avoid the tchila, el avoid the avoid the tchila makim. Avoid of the first time something's used, l'thayel of them. May avoid the tchila makim of the mizbeach first time. Now, so therefore, right now, if I wake you up in the middle of the night, we did almost two complete blot in the sechta in the sechta yuma, and we've decided that what no two alachis. We know that what there's a pisha of a coin gadol for seven days, and there's a pisha of coin as sorry as a part for seven days. And what's our source? The Muluyim. Everyone knows that, right? You got it? Because we're going to change right now. You know? <laughs> you know, by now you know you know I, I said job for this, right? Now that you got well got it straight, guys. Here we go. He also Ravdimi, Om Rav Yochanan. Rav Dimi came back from Babel. Rav Dimi came back from, came, went there to Israel to learn Rav Yochanan. He came back to Babel. Masli Chada, he said, Rav Yochanan learns only one. Rav Yeshua ben Levi, Masli Tarti. And Rav Yeshua ben Levi learns two. What does that mean? Rav Yochanan, Masli Chada, Lasseis Lechaper, not, not Lasseis going on Para, Eilu Maise Yom Kippurin, they're both going on Kippur. In other words, Rav Yochanan does not have Miluyim as the source for the pre-show of Para. He doesn't have the source for Pisha of Para. He doesn't have that source. Because he dashes the last source not to go on Para. He dashes the last source to go on Yom Kippur. Both in Yom Kippur. Oh. Like we did. Last source, Elamaisa Para. Lechaper, Elamaisa Yom Kippurim. Okay. So Rabbi Yishuv and Levi held serve. Now, Rabbi Yechon and Masni Chada? One second. Ba'atanan, we have a Mishnah that Rabbi Yechon cannot argue on. Shivas Yom and Koyim Yom Kippurim. Shuas. And seven days before they burnt the hapara, we said we brought a, a mission in para. Rabbi Yechonin can't argue. And for the Gemara, guess what? It's not a lima from a pasik. It's not a del raisa. What? It's a milo. Oh, again, we said yesterday, what was the big cooler they did by paraduma? They were metama the koyin asayrif, right? And as a result, I spent a good five minutes on the chumras, right? All the chumras that they did. So this prisha is just another chumra, like the baby on the rock, like the can do it that they built. All that. This is another mila that they separated the koyin for seven days, but not that it's a limit from a pasuk. Mashmalei Rabbi Yochanan that the dinner of prisha is a dinner raisa by Yom Kippur, right? It might might be Yom Kippur, it's a dinner ice because he's saying this is a this is a mile of alma, a mile of alma. Fred Gamar now. Here's the problem. Look, here's your problem. Go back to Bay Summit Aleph. It seems like a long time ago, right? Bay Summit Aleph. You see the Pasik where it says Umrav the Pasik Kasha also be able to say, go up one line above that. The first words on the line are Umrav of Yumi, guys. Good. You, know, you have it about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve lines up. Amrav Minyumi Bar Chilkia. Follow along, it's important. Amrav Mechasio Bar Idi. Amrav Amrav Yachinon. Amakra Kasha Asa Bayom Azet. Siva Shem Lassois the Chapra Lechem. Lassois Eilu Maisa. Para, who's talking? Rabbi Yachinon. Haki, Rabbi Yochan himself was the one who said para, guys. Rabbi Yochan is the one himself who said para. And now he's switching, saying only one? He, he's the one who said it. Good. So it's one thing, you have a, a kasha from a Mishnah. What's he doing in a Mishnah? Saying Ma'ilu Alma. We have Rabbi Yochan himself saying the Limud is for para. So how can you tell me that what? That he only learned Yom Kippur? 
back in the Gemara, by us. So that second line before he gets wide. Here's the kasha. Lasais Ela Maisapara. Lasais means Maisapara. There's a kasha. You see, Rabbi Yochan himself says that Maisapara is learned out from the Miluyim. Lechaper Ela Maisayom Kippurim. The Gemara who the Rabbi. Guess what? He's not quoting himself. There he was quoting his Rabbi. Here he's quoting his own sheet. The Rav Dimi came and reported the sheet of Rabbi Yochan on only Yom Kippur. I he quoted the pasuk there by Miluyim by 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 by, by uh, Para. That was his Rabbi. That was his Rabbi. And in fact, Ravin is going to substantiate that. The Chiyosa Ravin, Rav Dimi and Ravin were also accustomed to go to Eretz Yisrael to learn. Um, Rabbi Yochanan, Mishum Rabbi Shmuel. There you go. He didn't say it in his own name. He said it. Mishum Rabbi Shmuel. The name Rabbi Shmuel. Last why does not? What? Why doesn't when we bring this member of Rabbi Yochanan, why don't we bring his Rabbi then? I, I, I guess, you know, only the Kasha arose. Again, it wasn't, you know, I don't know if they had it at the time when it was stated. You see that People were misquoted all the time. But we're usually so careful to bring over in the name of. Uh, again, I, I don't know the answer, but if you ask Robin, it's Mashma. They didn't have that until Robin showed up, Mash. Okay, better question. Look at look at Toysvis. Let's let's see the to second Toysvis down. The rabbi who the chiyasa ravin have you matzil me? You could have given a teretz. I'm a roi nin of alibe the rabbi yochanan. It's it's a machloekas. I'm a roi in what rabbi yochanan said. Often that's stated. In other words, if they're coming back from Eretz Yisrael, they could misquote him. You know, you know the game of telephone. You begin one side, the other side. So one one could have said he said only one. One could have said he said two. You could have said that's a maroyim. No, it's a machloekas. I'm a roi as to what rabbi yochanan said. That would have been an easy way out. However, if it two ve'ikav ashas. In many places in Shas, the Chi Osir of Dimi, Osir La Fluge Amaroi Shalafonov, that Rav Dimi came, Mosh, this might answer your question. The Chi Osir La Fluge Amaroi Shalafonov, he came to argue on the Amaroi Shalafonov, he came to argue on the Amaroi Shalafonov, and Mosh, it's Mosh Marat, then until Rav Dimi came along, they didn't know what exactly Rabbi Yachin had said. Mask him? Okay. So, now you're not really hearing it. <laughs> no, you don't hear it either. No, look what he's saying. You know, you could have said it's a Machloikis Amaroiim, however, that Rav Dimi came to argue on the Amoira that was stayed in front of him. So Rabbi Yochanan said one thing that these people said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan didn't say it, Moish. Who said it? Rav Chilkia, Rav Namiumi, they're saying it. Rabbi Yochanan, no, 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 no. Moish's kasha is, why didn't they know this earlier? So take a look. It's Rav Minyumi in the name of Rav Chilkia and Rav Namachasya quoting Rav Yochanan. They are misquoting Rav Yochanan Moish. Now comes along Rav Dimi and he's saying, no, this is what Rav Yochanan said. It's, it, it's Jakasha. It wasn't Rav Yochanan himself talking. Okay, anyway, Ellen continues to ask this. Ellen Mishun the Ashach Behedi, the Rav Yochanan Mishmei Dovich Shev. Since we found he said it openly, Amma Hachim gave this Teretz. Lachim Mishani Hachim. Vim Taimar. Rabbi Yochanan, hechi polega Rabbi Shmuel shutana. How can Rabbi Yochanan argue on Rabbi Shmuel? Rabbi Shmuel is a tana, and he's saying we learned that both from the Bluyim. We learned our part from Ilum as well. So how can Rabbi Yochanan say that? Yeshlemar, we should the Ashkas Brisa will come on the Tanya Kavase. We're going to find. We have the, the tomorrow's daf. We're going to have a Brisa that substantiates Rabbi Yochanan. Once Rabbi Yochanan is a tana that he goes according to, he can argue on Rabbi Shmuel. Okay, so very good. He has a tana. Once Amoira has a tana to back him up, he can argue on another tana because he's saying in the words of tana. Okay, so again, so this is uh, so why are we holding right now? We're holding right now. We have a source, a source of the name of Ishmael. The Miluyim is a source for both Para and for Yom Kippur. Rabbi Yochanan himself saying what? Only Yom Kippur, only Yom Kippur. Okay, that's what we have so far. Now, continues the Gemara. Where are you learning Yom Kippur from, guys? You're learning it from the Miluyim, right? We'll see tomorrow. How do you know that? Guys, anything that it says by the Miluyim, if you didn't do it, fafalin, gone, hustle, good? No, 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 no. It's not only a one-time thing. 
that one time thing, there was no bidi evet over there. It, everything had to be done. It's not the fact that it happened one time. Everything there that happened that one time had to be done that way, that way. And we're going to see tomorrow how do you know that. So now, af hachanami here too by Yom Kippur, kol ben ma'akabahem. Then everything you learn from Ma'at also shimaakit. Now, mashma clearly that we're holding that not everything from Yom Kippur is etched in stone. Not everything has to be done in order to machsha the avoid of Yom Kippur. Where, where do you see that? The chitema hachinami. If you'll say enochinami, guys, that everything on Yom Kippur had to be done. And if you're missing any of them, it's gone. If you're missing any of them, it's gone. But Tanan, umas kinon le koyen acher, it says that you go ahead and you make another koyen, you another koyen, for loikitani, and it doesn't say mafrishin. It doesn't say that koyen has to be separate. But one second, if everything they say that it has to be done, that means what? Hafrosha would be what? Ma'akiv. And if you don't, then the avoid can't be done. But you see, it's not true because the snu koyen did not have to be separate as we, say, we saw Heshel yesterday, right? So you didn't have Russia. So why do you see that Yom Kippur is not exactly like Giluyim? Because you see that if you don't separate, right, it's still kosher the avoid them. The chit hema, my maskin, my frishan. And if you say, no, 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 it really is ma'akiv. And when it says metakin, it means mafrishin. You're going to separate another one. Listen, either be consistent in your lashon. Or you either be the maskinon, maskinon shivas yamim, or maskinon koyim acher. Or you either the mafrishin, mafrishin koyim gadol, mafrishin koyim acher. You know, don't switch your your verb. Keep your verb the same. Keep your verb the same. So therefore, lechayra, Reb Yochanan, Reb Mishlakish has a good kasha. Reb Yochanan, if your source is miluyim for Yom Kippur, then and then from Miluyim, Yom Kippur from Miluyim, then just as Miluyim, every single thing there done would go ahead and pack the Kashrus. So to be Yom Kippur, everything would have to be done. And we see it's not true. And we see it's not true. So I'm a lay. So said Reshlakish Reb Yochanan, Elamar Mehechi Yalafla. This is really, really, I found this very interesting. You're all familiar with the Gemara in Baba Mitzia, how the, the first Begisha of Reshlakish Reb Yochanan. Yeah. Rabbi Yochanan was, was very, very handsome. He was in a river, and Rabbi Shlakis was a robber, and he jumped in to kill him. To rob him, he was going to kill him. And he looked at him, he said, you're beautiful. So he goes, if you if you I'll give you my sister. She's more beautiful than I. Right? So he's a very famous Gemara, and they said he tried to jump out, he couldn't jump out. Because once he was in the Kabbalah, he got weaker again. Anyway, you see clearly who was the Rebbe? Rabbi Yochanan. And now Reish Lakish is addressing, Rabbi Yochan is addressing Reish Lakish, Lakish as Mar. When he died, Reish Lakish died. As a result of Rabbi Yochan, it wasn't, was not, not a Walt Disney story, the way they ended. He, he, he cursed him and he died. And Rabbi Yochan couldn't get, couldn't get, he died as a result of not having a Chavrusa and uh, was not a happy ending. Anyway, so, uh, where do you learn it from? In other words, Reish Lakish, you got a kasha. It, it should be Ma'ak of Yom Kippur. So where do you learn the seven days of Pisha from? So Amami Sinai, I learned from Sinai. And this will continue tomorrow. Right. Nice to see everybody. No, 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 we'll see.